Hey everybody, L here, playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Let's go over what's new for today. First up, the Zero AP and Guild Campaign Notice has been updated to include Tier 7 Guilds in this table. So you can see during a campaign, Tier 7 gets a nice and healthy 40% bump. And uh, we're left with a 40% range afterwards, so it's exactly like Tier 6 in that regard. And Tier 6 Guilds in general have been far kinder to me than Tier 5 Guilds. Uh, tier 5 guilds only get a measly 20% bump during campaign, and then we're left with that large 50% window afterwards. And I'm finding that, you know, on tier 5s, I'm much more likely to be throwing more mirrors just to max something out, but less likely for tier 6s, and I'm happy to see tier 7 as the same way. Uh, once again, we have all the way through October 8th to enjoy the Zero AP and Guild campaign, so that's awesome. Second notice. It looks like the second day of the month is when they like to announce these monthly raid boss events. So this time I was fully expecting it, and we're looking at that new metal. Yo, what up, Behemoth, or it's your boy Behemoth, uh, coming to get you. Open all month long, of course, 30 minutes each time. Same as usual, they haven't changed the times. It's noon in Japan, and also 10 p.m. is the other time check your local time zones uh, if you're in the US and on Pacific time for example this works out to be 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. for now to do the daily raids get event coins trade them in for behemoths uh, the official name uh, destroyed behemoth and also broom servant boards and uh, one broom servant board and one magic mirror board if it's the same as last month if you can level up the raid boss to level 5 or higher, then they will start uh, dropping a larger amount of event coins compared to levels 1 through 4. But of course, the boss levels will reset after each 30 minute period. And the daily rotation of bosses this time is different again. On Mondays, we have Purple Gummy Hound, Tuesday, Gear Golem, Wednesday, Fierce Queen Bee, Thursday, Assault Dragon, Friday, Circus. Fortress, Saturday, Furious, Whole Cake, and Sunday, Jack in the Box. Saturday boss, Furious, Whole Cake. If you get that to level 10 and bring it down, then it will just drop a boosted copy of the Destroyed Behemoth for you. And that boss is the one that they brought out for the Kingdom Hearts 15th anniversary a while back. It is the cake boss or pie boss um, that has the one power attribute limb with a magic attribute main body so plan your setups accordingly it looks like we're gonna have our first shot at this today uh, here in the US it's Friday so that's Saturday in Japan we're gonna be jumping right into this cake boss and the ability on the monthly raid reward medal this time a single target medal one single hit no buffs or debuffs six gauges 11.04 multiplier where have we seen this before it's exactly the same as twilight thorn and also trick master before it and i'm betting that you know they probably didn't put in the effort this time it's still gonna be a uh, they call it the trick fire is the name of the attack i'm guessing same name same animation but fingers crossed maybe one day we'll be proved wrong um, and with this medal, it looks like the cycle is now complete. We have one of these in each color. So hmm, I wonder what happens next month, you know? What happens? We, maybe we get another cycle of medals with brand new abilities next time. Or, you know, I'm totally fine not seeing these monthly raids. <laughs> Again, they could just stop them after, after this. That'd be fine too. Anyway, last notice. Um, this is not a weekend raid. This is a Saturday only raid, so we only have today to do this. Uh, we're going to be raiding the Green Trident Anchor, 30 million HP, usual rules. Um, there's going to be the, the, the board per usual with the couple of broom servants in there. And bonus time is for the full hour. It is at noon and 10 p.m. in Japan, but it overlaps with the 30 minute raid. So you can do that first and then have the second half hour to work on the Trident Angers or just do them throughout the day, whatever you like. And 
Typically, Saturday only raids imply that there is a raid week coming on the following week. In cases where there's a raid week on Monday, they typically make the weekend raid, they shorten them to only one day because they don't like players to spawn these 30 million HP raids on Sunday and just leave them up so they can get a head start on Monday into raid week. So kind of as a way to avoid that issue, um, they just shorten the weekend raid. So this means hmm, if we get a raid week next week, if you guys remember the countdown scoop quest from a few days ago, we have the raid week giving the union armors for September 18th. So it looks like one week of uh, raid week and then maybe a week off and then another raid week after that with a month long raid kind of all throughout. That's a lot of raiding. Um, yeah, it's kind of a marathon. Got to pace yourselves, right? Oof, I'm, I'm not a big fan, but uh, got to gotta make it work somehow. Um, you know, having a good party to do this uh, definitely makes it easier. Good luck to everyone going for that new behemoth medal. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.